Hey friends, it's Cherie, and today I'm going to be doing a little sew along with you. So we received a Be Bold pattern from Ellie and Mac in our thread crate box, and I thought it would be the perfect pattern for a little dress for my best friend. And so I'm going to be sewing that dress with you today. And let me show you a little quick picture of what version it is. It's this version here. I'll also insert a picture. And I'm so excited. So I found this beautiful fabric on fabric.com. It is a cotton voil and it is very lightweight and swishy and soft and perfect for summer weather. And so I'm hoping that it makes the most perfect Be Bold dress. Now, if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're a returning person, thank you so much for your continued support. I truly appreciate you so very much. All right, let's get into it. For the Be Bold pattern, there are several options and in order to create this dress here, we are going to need the following pieces. We will need two of the top pieces. Now this is cut at the bikini line and um, we have a front and a back here, as you can see. And we also are going to need sleeves, two sleeves. and. I have traced out all of my pieces on tracing paper so that I can make multiple sizes of this pattern. And we are going to be cutting this one at the puff elbow sleeve length. So we're not going to be doing the full length sleeve. And so we have two sleeves. And then lastly, we need two skirt pieces. Now, this particular dress only comes in one length, but you can absolutely lengthen this dress if you'd like it to be longer. This is going to be a more of a knee length dress and it's going to be light and swishy and perfect for 100 degree plus weather. So these are my two skirt pieces. And now that we have all of the pieces, let's talk about the additional notions that you'll need. The last thing that we're going to need is we're going to need some elastic. And the elastic that I'm using is actually the elastic that came in my thread crate box. Now, this is enough elastic to do the blouse or top version. However, I do have elastic of the same length and width in my stash that I can use for the waist of the dress as well as the elbow cuffs. All right, let's get started. Step one in the sewing process is that we are going to take the two bodice pieces or top pieces and we are going to lay them together, right sides together. And what you're going to do is line them up along the sides and you're going to pin them together. And if you have a very delicate fabric that does not behave well with puncturing holes in it, then I would suggest using fabric clips rather than pins. But I am using a cotton fabric that is thin and slippery, so I am going to use my pins in order to keep my fabrics together. And so as you see, I have pinned down both sides of this bodice. And I know you might be thinking, wow, that's really wide but please remember we will be adding elastic at the waist and also at the neckline. So it will not be that wide in the end. And so once you've gone ahead and pinned the sides together, you're going to take your pieces over to the sewing machine and you're going to sew them together at one fourth of an inch. And if you have a serger, you're going to serge your edges. If you don't have a serger, you can use a zigzag stick stitch to finish the edges of your bodice pieces. All right, let's do that.
Now that you have your bodice pieces sewn together, what you're going to do is you're going to fold this in half and you're gonna set it over to the side. And now we're going to take the sleeve pieces for this dress and we are going to fold them in half, right sides together. And with the right sides together, we are now going to at one fourth inch, sew down the sides of the sleeve here. And then we are going to finish those edges for both sleeves. Okay, so once you've sewn your bodice pieces together and your sleeve pieces, you're going to go ahead and take your bodice piece and lay it down flat so that the side seam of the bodice is in the middle and you have this curve here. And what you're going to do is take your sleeve, turn it right side out. So now both your bodice and your sleeves are turned right side out and you're going to match up the center seam side seam of the sleeve to the side seam of the bodice and you're going to pin them together right there and then you're also going to pin along the curve connecting the sleeve to the bodice and so you'll do this for both sleeves and once you've completely pinned all the way around the curb, you'll take your bodice piece and sleeves over to the sewing machine and sew them down at one fourth inch. And then you will go ahead and finish those edges with either your zigzag stitch or your serger. what your sleeve and side of your bodice will look like once they've been attached. So now that our sleeves are finished, we are going to go ahead and take a, some type of measuring tool and you are going to measure up to one half inch on that measuring tool. And this is on the wrong side of the fabric. You're gonna fold up and go ahead and press in place and pin. And once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and do a straight stitch all the way around your pressed edge. And you're going to leave about a one to two inch gap so that you can feed elastic through.
a bodkin tool or even a safety pin. And what you're going to do is you're going to attach your 1 4th inch elastic to this bodkin or safety pin. So now it's attached like this. And so now we're gonna feed it through that gap that was created for our elastic on the sleeves. And once you start to get to the end of your elastic, what you're going to do is you're going to pin it down to the sleeve of the dress so that you don't lose it on the inside of this casing that you've created. So I just like to do one pin through the middle there just to secure it in place. So this is what your sleeve will look like on the end. And so now what you're going to do is you're going to take this over to the sewing machine and do your best not to get your elastic twisted in the casing. And you're going to go ahead and overlap these two ends of elastic and you're going to stitch them together with a zigzag stitch. And then we'll come back and stretch it out so that you can see what the final look will be like. Okay, so now we have our sleeves done and this is what our sleeves should be looking like. Let me show you the other one. This is what your sleeve should look like. The next thing that you want to do is work on the neckband. You are going to turn your bodice inside out so that the wrong side is facing out. And you're going to take your ruler. I am using a hot hem ruler and you are going to find three fourths of an inch marking on your ruler and you're going to fold down the top of your bodice piece at three fourths of an inch and you're going to go ahead and press that down all the way around the bodice once you've done that you'll pin it in place and then you'll go ahead and stitch it down leaving a one to two inch gap so that you can insert your elastic.
that's going to be the gap that I'll use for my elastic. Okay, so now that we have our casing sewn for the top of our bodice, we're going to go ahead and take the elastic, attach it to the bodkin, and we're going to feed it through the top of this dress casing. Now that I've reached the end of the elastic, what I'm going to do is go ahead and pin the elastic to the top here. And I'm going to go through both layers of fabric and the elastic just to hold the elastic in place. 
I'll, I'm going to go ahead and take the other end of the elastic. I'm gonna hold on tight to it. And what I'm doing right now is I am actually trying to make sure that none of my elastic has twisted in the casing and that it's laying flat. And so I'm just running my fingers along the top here to make sure that nowhere in this casing um, is their twisted elastic. So now that I know that the elastic is nice and flat all the way around the top of the bodice, I'm going to go ahead and take the ends of my elastic and I'm going to stitch them together by overlapping the ends right here. And then we'll go ahead and cinch them up into the casing and close the opening of the casing. Okay, friends, we have completed the bodice of the dress. We have our sleeves here with the elasticated elbow, and then we have our neckline with the elastic. Now this is a dress that is off the shoulder, which is why it's so wide, but you might want to try on your bodice before closing up the casing and making sure that it actually fits you. There you go. Now let's move on to the skirt. Okay, now let's work on the bottom skirt of the dress. You're going to take your two skirt pieces and you are going to lay them together, right sides together. So open that up just like that. Go ahead and pin down the sides of the skirt and then you're going to stitch it at one fourth of an inch and go ahead and finish those edges with either your zigzag stitch or your serger.
Now that we have the side seams of our skirt sewn together, we are going to attach the skirt to the bodice. So what we'll do is, and you want to make sure you don't accidentally attach the bottom of the skirt uh, to the top of the, the dress or bodice. Um, what you want to do is take your bodice piece right side out and you're going to insert it inside the skirt piece. You're going to line up the edges so that the right sides are facing. So look for the side seam of the bodice and you wanna attach it to the side seam of the skirt, right sides together, just like this. And so once you have attached it with pins all the way around, then we're going to move on to the stitching process. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and stitch the bodice and the skirt pieces together at 1 4th of an inch seam allowance.
after you finish the edge, go ahead and create a line of stitching one half inch from the hem edge of your waistline. Okay, so now we are going to pull the bodice out of the skirt, just like this. And we are going to press this seam allowance that we've created here. We're going to press it up towards the bodice all the way around the dress. Okay, once you have pressed the seam allowance up towards the bodice of the dress, what you're going to do is you're going to stitch along the edge here of the actual hem line, and you are going to attach this flap to the top of the bodice, and you're going to leave a two inch gap so that you can insert your elastic.
Now that you've attached your bodice to your skirt and you've created a casing all the way around, you're going to take your elastic, attach it to your safety pin or your bodkin. In this case, I'm using a safety pin because this elastic casing is actually really narrow. So I'm going to go ahead and feed the elastic through using a safety pin all the way around the waist of the skirt. Okay, friends, your dress is almost done. Isn't this so cute? I'm so happy about the way that it came out so far. So these are the awesome to the elbow sleeves. This is the snatched waistline, which is so pretty. Look at that. Nice and comfortable. And here's the other sleeve. The top of the dress looks really gorgeous. Now the last thing to do for this dress is the hem, right? So what you're going to do is you are going to use your serger or you're going to use your zigzag stitch and you're going to finish the raw edge of this hemline and then once you finish the edge of the hemline you try your dress on and determine how big of a hem you want to have and then you're going to turn your dress wrong side out and you're going to fold up and stitch all the way around to finish your hem press your dress and it will be all done isn't that so gorgeous so pretty all right let's do this Okay, friends, so we finished our beautiful dress and I love the way it came out. We have our wonderful elasticated neckline. Now, this dress is supposed to be worn off the shoulder. However, you can pull it up over the shoulder if you feel more comfortable that way. It does have this wonderful elasticated waist, which is fantastic. And it's knee length, which is great for anyone who feels self-conscious about mini dresses. I love the way this dress came out and I can't wait to make more of them. Thank you so much for sticking along with me on this sew along. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe to my channel. I truly appreciate you and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.